I read a writing of mine which you too may have read. It's short and says, Jesus forsaken, embraced, held tightly to oneself, consumed in one with us, we consumed in one with him, made suffering with him, suffering, this is how you become God, love. Those words touched me in a special way because I wrote them during a time of great light. So I wrote things greater than I could actually live, or if I did live them, it was as a young person. The more I go ahead, the more I discover their value and depth. I liked it very much, and the Holy Spirit made me focus on this point of not being two of us, me and Jesus forsaken, that is me and the suffering I experience, me and the doubt I have, I discovering him little by little, embracing him, saying to Jesus, taking time. No, at once made suffering with him suffering, wanting that alone. This is how you become God, how you become God, love, love. Then I had just received a card from Lopiano in which Father Mario Strada had sent me, as well as his letter, a few photos of his new little church at Capiano, I think. There were photos of beautiful frescoes. One of them had this sentence written beneath it. Nox mea my night, obscurum non habet, my night has no darkness. I was very happy about this as though the Lord had sent it to me because, as I said, this is what I want to live. As soon as the suffering arrives, I must embrace it so quickly. I must hold it tightly to myself, consume it in one. Made suffering with him suffering, this is how you become, not suffering, but love God. I've seen Jen that living this all day long is like a tonic of the ideal that you can't imagine. Unimaginable. Because you start in the morning. You might be a little tired. You didn't sleep well, perhaps. So tiredness, amazing. My night has no darkness. This suffering doesn't exist because I love it. I get up and I might hear about some problems at once. Someone says, Chiara, I need to tell you something. Ah, I say within, fantastic Jesus, here we are. I embrace you, hold you tightly, made suffering with you at once. My night has no darkness. And this all day long. I believe that we can progress spiritually more in a week by living this one thing than in months and months living in other ways. And this applies to all sufferings. You're suffering because your feet hurt, you're feeling the cold, someone spoke a bit unkindly, you suffer about something you have to do, you suffer at once. This is the way so that we can always proclaim when we go to bed at night, Jesus, my night had no darkness, that you can say, and now God must confirm this, that it is no longer we who live, but it is love that lives within. It is God who lives within.